Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Now crashing is something that is very different from what we have done so far. Now this is all together a different ball of game. Let us first understand some basic meanings like what is crashing, what is crash cost, what is the normal cost and then we will work on an actual problem. So imagine you are doing an activity like painting your home and you have hired four workers who have agreed to complete the work in 10 days. So four workers will work for 10 days and they will complete my overall project of painting my home and let's say they charge me rupees 20,000 as the labor cost. So I approach them with a condition that you complete the work in 6 days. Now if they have to complete the work in 6 days, either these 4 workers will have to work in 2 shifts or they will have to hire additional workers. Let's say they hire additional 2 more workers and now we have got 6 workers working for 6 days. Now since the number of workers have increased, the cost will also increase because the labor charges will increase. So let's say they charge me 36,000 rupees to complete the work in 6 days. I approach them again that is it possible for you to reduce the time any further so they agreed to complete the work in 4 days with 8 workers and they will charge me rupees 42,000 for the same. Now if I approach them again to reduce the time it may not be possible at all because minimum 4 days will be taken to complete the overall coloring work. So what was the actual time or the original time and the normal circumstances? It was 10 days and my cost was 20,000 rupees. This was the normal quotation given by that particular laborer or that labor contractor. This shall be called as the normal time and 20,000 shall be called as the normal cost. Now the next stage if I reduce this to the lowest possible duration of 4 days but obvious I have to spend more on the labor that is rupees 42,000. So this 4 days shall be called as the crash time and this 42,000 shall be called as the crash cost. So I discuss four important concepts normal time, normal cost, crash time, crash cost and crashing is something that is associated with these concepts. What do you mean by crashing? Reducing the overall project duration or the project time can be called as the crashing. Crashing refers to overall reduction in the duration of the activity or we can say indirectly the overall project completion time so as to meet some deadlines that will be called as the crashing. Now 
how to work out the crashing what are the steps involved in crashing how do we decide which activities duration should be reduced मुझे कौन से एक्टिविटी का टाइम कम करना है वो कितने से कम करना है वॉट इज द क्राइटेरिया टू सिलेक्ट द एक्टिविटीज फॉर क्रैशिंग ऑल दिस थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट कैन बी टॉट और एक्सप्लेन ओनली विद एन एग्जाम्पल देर आर नो थियोटिकल स्टेप्स एज सच एल जस्ट वर्क आउट द स्टेप्स बाय गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल लेट्स राइट एन एग्जाम्पल So we are noted on a problem based on crashing. Let's first try to understand the question, and then we will actually solve the problem, or the we'll learn the steps in the crashing. We have some activities here which are indicated by the nodes. So we have one, two, 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 three, two, two, four, and so on till six to seven. So so there are near about eight to nine activities, and we are given two time estimate. One is the normal time, and one is the crash time. this normal time will be always more than the crash time because it is the crash time it will be always less than the normal time and then we will have the normal cost and we will have the crash cost and the crash cost we spend more just to reduce the time because we need to employ more resources and therefore crash cost will be always more than the normal cost and we are given something called as overhead cost also called as the indirect cost in the problem rupees 50 per hour and we are required to determine the normal completion time and the cost and the optimal completion time and the cost let's first draw the diagram and try to get the whole idea how it can be solved first is 1 2 2 now we don't have something called as uh, preceding activity following activities here everything is purely based on the notes so in fact diagram becomes more easy to work out so first i'll draw 1 2 2 so we have 1 2 2 2 2 3 2 2 in the center because we need to join 3 2 and 4 2 so this is my 3 2 5 Four to five, five to six, and six to seven. Five to six and six to seven. My duration, the normal time will be one to two five. Two to three again five. Two to four is nine. Two to five is twelve. Three to five six, four to five zero. So it will be dummy. Five to six eight, and six to seven six. So we are done with the time estimates. Now here we will try to follow the alternate routes of reaching from the start till the end. स्टार्ट वन से होता है एंड होता है सेवन पे सो ट्राई टू रीच फ्रॉम वन टू सेवन इन वॉट एवर पॉसिबल मैनर एंड विल कैलकुलेट द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ ईच ऑफ दिस रूट आई एल डू दिस ऑन द नेक्स्ट पेज सो वी हैव द फर्स्ट रूट वन टू थ्री फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड माई ड्यूरेशन विल बी You will take how much time? Five plus five, ten, sixteen, twenty-four plus six, thirty hours. 
so one two three five six seven is my first root thirty hours my second root will be one two five six seven it will be five plus twelve seventeen plus eight twenty five plus six thirty one we have a third root that is 1 2 4 5 6 7 which will be 5 plus 9 14 plus 0 14 plus 8 22 plus 6 28 so 1 2 4 5 6 7 28 hours We'll do the totaling of the normal cost. We have a normal cost here, which is 1840. Right now, we have not done any crashing, so I won't write anything against the cash cost, or it will be nil. So, my total cost will be 1840. Then we had the indirect cost called as the overhead cost in the problem. Now this overhead cost is rupees 50 per hour. If you check my duration of the alternate routes, first route ka duration 30 hours, second route ka duration 31 hours, third route ka duration 28 hours. So out of the three, 31 is the highest. That means 1, 2, 5, 6, 7 will be my critical path. And that will be my project completion time. So I will add overhead cost at the rate of rupees 50 per hour. So for 31 multiplied by 50, it will be 1550. And adding this two, I will get the overall cost of the project that will be 1840 plus 1550, which is 3390 rupees. So now we have just worked out the basic calculation, and now comes the next part how to reduce this project duration or the project completion time. And for that, we need to do something called as crashing. Crash cost slope, also called as the crash cost per unit of time, it can be crash cost per day, per hour, per week, per month, is nothing but the comparison of the increase or decrease in cost and the comparison of reduction in the time. KCB activity ko crash karenge, to uska time kitne se kam hota hai? और उसका कॉस्ट कितने से बढ़ता है उसको कंपेयर करना मतलब क्रैश कॉस्ट स्लोप निकालना दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर टू डिसाइड व्हिच एक्टिविटी शुड बी क्रैश्ड सो द फार्मूला विल बी क्रैश कॉस्ट माइनस नॉर्मल कॉस्ट डिवाइड बाय नॉर्मल टाइम माइनस क्रैश टाइम वो यू कैन जस्ट रिमेंबर द फॉर्मूला एस डिफरेंस इन कॉस्ट अपॉन डिफरेंस इन टाइम ऊपर क्रैश कॉस्ट और नॉर्मल कॉस्ट का डिफरेंस लो नीचे नॉर्मल टाइम और क्रैश टाइम का डिफरेंस लो दैट्स इट लेट्स फर्स्ट कैलकुलेट द क्रैश कॉस्ट पर आर आल्सो कॉल्ड एस क्रैश कॉस्ट स्लोप फॉर ऑल द एक्टिविटीज Now, how to calculate the crash cost? We have the formula. The crash cost slope will be difference in cost upon difference in time. So, 300 minus 200 will be 100 divided by 5 minus 4, 1. For 2 to 3, it will be 30 minus 30. 0 upon 0, it will be 0. For 2 to 4, it will be 480 minus 320. 
160 divided by 9 minus 7. Next is 225, 710 minus 620 divided by 12 minus 10. 325 will be 200 minus 150 divided by 6 minus 5. For 4 to 5, it will be 0 because there is no crashing, it is a dummy. For 5 to 6, it will be 310 minus 220 divided by 8 minus 6 2. Last will be 6 to 7, 370 minus 300, 70 divided by 6 minus 5. So, you are done with the basic calculations. Now, based on the crash cost, we decide how to crash the activities. So, what are the rules for crashing? First rule for crashing is that you can only crash critical path activities. All the activities lying on the critical path shall be called as the critical activities and you can only crash the critical activities. Second, if there is more than one critical path, your crashing must involve crashing on both the critical paths either the same activity or two different activities so mara pehla rule tha crashing karna hai to hamesha critical path pe jo activities unhi ko karna hai aur dusra rule hamara hai ki crashing karte waqt agar ek se zyada critical path aayega to aapko dono mein simultaneously crash karna hai you can't just crash one activity or one path and you ignore the second one so in my present case, 1 to 2, 2 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7 is my critical path. So I have the activities 1 to 2, 2 to 5, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7 as the critical activities. So 1 to 2, 2 to 5, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. We have got four critical activities one to two ka one hour ka 100 rupees kharcha hai two to five ka 45 rupees five to six ka 45 rupees and six to seven ka 70 rupees so i can crash any four of this but i'll crash the one with the lowest cost to mere paas two to five mein 45 rupees hai aur mere paas five to six mein 45 rupees hai so i can crash either two to five or I can crash either 5 to 6. Dono mein 2 2 days hai. So, I will crash first. Let's say 2 to 5. Now, by how many days I can crash 2 to 5? You can crash 2 to 5 by 2 days as per the crashing. 2 to 5, I can crash by maximum two days if you just look at the table original question uska normal time 12 the crash time 10 so i can reduce it by maximum two days or two hours so as per this table i can crash 225 by two hours but then in the crashing table after 31 which is the next highest number 30 you have to take the difference between these two in dono ke beech mein difference hai 1 hour ka so as per this table i can crash by maximum 1 hour as per the first table where we calculate the crash cost slope i can crash by 2 hours but as per this table 31 ke baad next highest number is 30 so i can crash by maximum 1 hour so 2 or 1 whichever is less will be the crashing duration so I will write crash 2 to 5 by 1 hour. So 2 to 5 agar humne 1 hour crash kiya. So 2 to 5 appears only in the second path. So second path mein 1 day kam ho ke 30 ho jayega. In the first route I don't have 2 to 5. So it will remain 30. In the third route I don't have 2 to 5. So it will remain 28. Now, how much was my normal cost? 
1840 and what is my crash cost i crash 225 by 1 hour to ek ghante ka 45 rupees kharcha hoga so i'll add this 45 here and my total cost will be 1885 and my overhead cost now will be for 30 days why 30 because my critical path calculation one hour come over so 30 into 50 rupees per hour it will come to 1500 which comes to 3385 so we crash activity 2 to 5 by 1 hour because as per the crash cost slope table it, it could have been crashed by 2 hours but 31 ke baad next highest number 30 tha to humne ek hi hour se crash kiya aur ek hour kam karne ka hame kharcha karna pada 45 rupees uski wajah se hamara overhead cost thoda kam ho gaya and my overall cost comes to 3385 if you look carefully mera cost kam ho gaya now i have got two critical paths both with a duration of 30 यहाँ पर भी 30 है यहाँ पर भी 30 है so both my paths are critical when there is more than one critical path always select the activity which is common to both the path if available or else select two different activities and crash both the activities simultaneously अगर आपका एक से ज़्यादा critical path आता है जो कि यहाँ पर हो रहा है 30-30 दोनों same आ रहा है so what I need to do I need to search for the common activities मेरे पास इन दोनों critical path में common activities है one is 1 to 2 5 to 6 and 6 to 7 so I have 1 to 2, 5 to 6 and 6 to 7. 1 to 2, 100 rupees, 5 to 6, 45 rupees, 6 to 7, 70 rupees. 3 numbers sasta padega, 5 to 6 and I can crash by 2 hours. Kharcha hai 45 rupees per hour. So I will crash 5 to 6 by 2 hours. So 5 to 6 तीनों में आता है, तीनों में 2 to 2 hours कम हो जाएगा. This will become 30 minus 2, 30 minus 2 and 28 minus 2. Now my normal cost is 1840. I have already spent 45 rupees on crashing in the first crashing. That shall be carried forward. ये 45 पहले का और अभी का हमने क्रैश किया 5 to 6 by 2 hours हमारे क्रैश कॉस्ट स्लोप टेबल में 5 to 6 का पर आर 45 रुपीज और 2 घंटे का उसका 90 रुपीज हो जाएगा so 45 रुपीज पर आर into 2 hours 90 रुपीज so 90 plus 45 it will be 135 my total cost will be 1975 and now my project completion time is 28 so 28 multiplied by 50 will be 1400 which comes to 3375 so we are done with the second question 5 to 6 by 2 hours and we are now having three critical paths all three have 28 hours as the total time so tino critical ho gaya to mujhe tino mein crashing karna padega ab tino mein common hai mere paas 6 to 7 so i will crash 6 to 7 now 6 to 7 can be crashed by maximum only one hour and the cost is 70 rupees So I'll crash 6 to 7 by 1 hour 
तो तीनों में वन वन आवर कम हो जाएगा ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सो ट्वेंटी सेवन दर इज ट्वेंटी एट माइनस वन ट्वेंटी एट माइनस वन एंड ट्वेंटी सिक्स माइनस वन इंटू ट्वेंटी फाइव अब मेरा नॉर्मल कॉस्ट तो सेम रहेगा वन एट फोर जीरो अब मेरा क्रैश कॉस्ट पहले का वन थर्टी फाइव प्रीवियस क्रशिंग का कैरी फॉरवर्ड होगा प्लस सिक्स टू सेवन हमारा क्रैश कॉस्ट है सेवेंटी रुपीज पर आर सो प्लस सेवेंटी रुपीज इट कम्स टू टू जीरो फाइव एंड द टोटल कम्स टू टू जीरो फोर फाइव नाउ माय क्रिटिकल पाथ का ड्यूरेशन इज ट्वेंटी सेवन आवर्स सो फॉर ट्वेंटी सेवन आवर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फिफ्टी इट विल बी वन थ्री फाइव जीरो and my total cost shall be 2045 plus 1350 3395 if you observe carefully maine pehle crushing kiya to mera cost kam hua 3385 after the second crushing fir se mera cost kam ho gaya aur ab mera cost bad raha hai this decrease in cost happens because of the savings in the overhead expenses so whenever the problem contains indirect cost or the overhead cost generally aapka crashing ke baad cost kam hote jayega but up to a specific level uske baad aapka cost apne aap badhega jo ki yahan pe bad raha hai to increase in the cost after the third crashing is the indication that you should stop your crashing now because your cost is increasing rather than decreasing so i'll just note down the last part since overall cost increases after third crashing crashing is not recommended further so we'll stop here and we the lowest cost here the lowest cost is 3375 this will be called as the optimal cost and what is the time at the optimal cost 28 hours so my normal time will be without crashing 31 hours and my normal cost will be 3390 rupees my optimal cost is rupees 3375 jahan pe cost sabse kam hai aur us cost pe jo time aayega that will be called as the optimal time which is 28 hours so optimal time indicates the time at which you are total cost is lowest so in this case my total cost is lowest at 28 hours therefore i will say my optimal time is 28 hours and the cost at 28 hours will be called as the optimal cost and remember whenever the cost will start increasing means i am not getting the optimal cost i am not getting the lowest possible cost you should stop the crashing so this was the first example based on crashing where we saw what rules are required to be followed for crashing and what are the steps involved the worst thing about crashing is that there are no specific steps that we need to follow we need to make the crash cost slope calculation we need to make the network diagram find the alternate routes one with the highest duration will be called as the critical path and then systematically crash or reduce or decrease the duration of the critical activities agar ek critical path hai to usko hi crash karna hai ab crashing ke time pe like a rational individual you do always crash the activity with the lowest possible slope secondly while doing the crashing 
if the indirect cost or the overhead cost is involved then you must always stop your crashing at the point when the total cost starts increasing i hope you got all the points clear this will take some time to get stable in your mind because crashing is a very logical concept every sum may be unique in its own terms and drawing the network diagram is the ultimate challenge or the first and foremost step without which crashing can't be learned i hope you got the points thanks for watching this video do subscribe to our channel ikira